back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this lecture, we are going to talk about Streptococcus pyogenes characteristics and the microbiology of Streptococcus pyogenes bacteria. So let's hop in. The first thing that we want to talk about are the gram nature and Streptococcus pyogenes is gram positive in nature. The next important parameter we'll discuss are the diseases caused by Streptococcus pyogenes and it causes Streptococcal pharyngitis or simply known as strep throat. It can also cause scarlet fever, impetigo and many more other disease. What are the classification scheme for streptococcus pyogenes? The classification scheme goes with oxygen requirement. Streptococcus pyogenes is a class of facultative anaerobe. It can grow with or without oxygen. Okay. Next one is the nutrition based. It is heterotrophic in nature. That means it utilizes organic compound as a carbon source for their energy. Now about the virulence factor. Streptococcus pyogenes virulence factors. The first one is streptolysines. S-L-O and S-L-S. Both of them hemolysines that can damage the host cell membrane. Cell membrane of red blood cell as well. M protein is another virulence factor by streptococcus pyogenes which is the adhesin that promotes the attachment of streptococcus pyogenes and uh, to the host cell and also evade the immune system. The third important virulence factor is pyrogenic exotoxins, example SPE, pyrogenic exotoxin. And this pyrogenic exotoxin SPE cause fever and scarlet fever rash around the body. The next one here, the next parameter that we are going to talk about is the incubation period for streptococcus pyogenes. The incubation period uh, ranges uh, typically from 2 days to 5 days for strep throat. Okay. Now, if we move on to the next parameter that is the antibiotic susceptibility. What are the antibiotic that can kill streptococcus pyogenes? Generally, penicillin and cephalosporin, beta lactam type can inhibit cell wall synthesis inhibitors can inhibit antibiotic resistance property of streptococcus pyogenes resistance can occur but remains relatively uncommon and unaltered uh, cultured methods of streptococcus pyogenes what are the cultured methods grown on blood agar as beta hemolytic colonies you know in blood agar there are two types of colonies found alpha hemolytic bacteria colonies uh, will be visible in a different way than a beta hemolytic colonies. These streptococcus pyogenes will give you a beta hemolytic colony pattern often uh, with a clear zone around them which is known as beta hemolysis. That is the difference in alpha hemolysis from a beta hemolysis can be easily distinguished with the picture that is given here as well. You can see that beta hemolysis clearly gives you a clear zone around the colonies. So that is a characteristic colony of streptococcus pyogenes. The next one is the detection method and uh, we have this detection method number one and the first method to detect is the culture method as we mentioned earlier isolates the streptococcus pyogenes from clinical samples throat swabs and wound cultures are used for that. The second type of detection method that we use are the rapid antigen detection tests are also there detects streptococcal antigens in the throat swab for quick diagnosis like a small kit that we use in many various uh, in infection or detection of infections. The third uh, detection method that we can use is polymerase chain reaction which will be uh, again little time consuming specific detection for pyogenes DNA uh, to be present in there. And the fourth one and the final detection method we'll talk about are serological tests which are confirmatory tests and quantitative tests detecting the antibody against streptococcus pyogenes for diagnosis and immune response assessment of the infected person. So these are all important parameters of streptococcus pyogenes bacteria. The microbiology of streptococcus pyogenes bacteria is quite clear. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.